So I have these beautiful snapdragons that are all ready for cutting. Now how I know they're ready for cutting is you can see on the flowers here, you can see how you want to catch them really when about a quarter to a third of these buds are open as they're starting to open up the stem if you want the largest vase life. Don't, you don't want to wait until they're open all the way to the top because then they won't last as long. This one, for example, is a perfect stage ready for cutting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look all the way down the bottom of the stem and what I'm looking for here is I want to cut it just above a leaf node so you can see here and I'm going to cut it there at a 45 degree angle. So now you've got your beautiful snapdragon. What you want to do is remove the lower leaves. Quite easy to do on snapdragons. And then you'll take this and pop it into a bucket of cool water right up to its neck as high as you can. One of the things I know people get worried about when they are cutting flowers is um, that they're forsaking, like, what do you mean pull off these beautiful, these are gonna be flowers, right? What do you mean I have to pull all these off and just leave this one at the top? And the reason for that is yes, you are forsaking these flowers, um, but you're doing it cutting this and then more will grow on the plant itself. So uh, don't try and save these or try and pull the leaves off around them. These can go too. Here they are after the cutting. So don't be scared to cut your flowers, right? Especially if this, you're growing your flowers to be cut flowers get the snips out and cut them right that's their job now snapdragons are not a true cut and come again flower like something like cosmos which is the more you cut it the more it grows they are what's called medium producers which means they will flower like crazy but only for a, a relatively short period of time so just make the most of them while they're here the other thing you might want to think about doing if you want snapdragons to cut from all summer long is to succession sow. So you can see I have some smaller ones here that I sowed a little bit later. Um, so they will come into flower after these ones. I haven't done a third sowing and this is the first year I have done succession sowing. But anything that's a medium producer, if you can get a couple of sowings in a month or so apart from each other, then you'll prolong your flowering season. But these I'll cut and cut for the next few weeks. They'll go like crazy, but they'll tire out pretty quickly as well. So you can expect that from them too. So here's where my bucket of snapdragons will sit now in my cool, dark cow shed. Um, when I close the door here, it will be all dark inside here and I will leave these for a couple of hours to rest. So this is what we mean by conditioning. And what that means is they're simply, now we've stripped all the leaves off, we've plunged them into this cool water in the bucket and they're just gonna have a big drink, recover from the cutting and then we'll arrange them in a couple of hours once they've had a chance to have a big drink. Really important stage. If you want to prolong the vase life, this conditioning stage is a really crucial part. There's two, two things really always to having your flowers last longer in the vase, and that is cutting them at the right stage and making sure you condition them before you arrange them. Yeah.